Hello, my name is Josiah Ray. I'm going to show you uh, briefly how to make a table uh, rows stay on the same page in Microsoft Word so that they don't break apart into separate pages. So here I am in Word. I've got a whole mess of placeholder text here. I'm going to zoom out though so that I can see sort of the whole page all by itself. And what I'm going to do is copy this text and paste it a couple of times just so that it fills out a couple pages. And right about here in the middle, we're going to go insert table and let's just pick, you know, a 4 by 4 or so. And I'm going to resize this a little bit bigger. And there you go. All right, so we want to move this table, say, close to the bottom of the document, but we don't want it moving over to the other, the other page. Well, if we just try to do it, you'll notice as we get close to the bottom of the page and it moves up through the text, scroll out just a little bit, so we begin to void that buffer at the bottom or the margin at the bottom, it kicks part of the table over to the next page. And that's not exactly what we'd like to have happen. So I'm going to undo that, push the undo button. And with the entire table selected, we're going to go to Layout, Properties. And so if we go over to the uh, Row tab here, we're, we see that this says Allow Row to Break Across Pages. So if we uncheck this, supposedly, it won't allow the table to break the rows across multiple pages. So let's say OK and test that out. Move down to the margin again, and it splits it again. So that didn't exactly work. Now, there's a couple different ways of trying to go about this. Personally, I haven't found one that's really foolproof that's going to let you void the margin and it kind of just snaps it back up top. There's one other way. If we undo this, if you've got multiple rows or multiple objects of any kind, and you don't want them to break apart, you're supposed to be able to select all but the bottom one and tell it underneath the paragraph area, don't let these break apart, basically. So let's grab that table. I'm going to split it up a little bit more, just to demonstrate that. So let's, uh, instead of rows being two, let's say three rows. And I'm happy with two columns. All right, so we've got three rows, and obviously it has now voided the margin again. So I'm going to drag that back up. And I'm going to resize this down just a little bit. So select the first two rows. I'm going to go to the Home tab, click on this little arrow next to Paragraph. And underneath Line and Page Breaks, we want Keep with Next. So each row, it's going to try to keep with the next row, and that row, it's going to try to keep with the next row, etc. So let's see if that works. Say OK. I'm going to drag this down and avoid the page margin again and it breaks it apart again. And it's really kind of doing a pretty horrific job mangling our page. So we're going to undo that. Basically, if we click off the table, you can see these little blue tabs at the top and the bottom. Those are your page margins. You can't move the table beyond the page margins. If you do, bad things happen. And there's no real way that I can find to prevent that from happening. So the best way is to just not do it. So if we grab the, the table now, and we use the words at the bottom as a guide. So let's zoom in a little bit. We'll scroll down. Let's use the words at the bottom as a guide. And let's get it close, that dashed line close, but not go over. So a little bit further. I know it's, it's kind of like diffusing a bomb here. And there you go. And so if we zoom back out, our table is now pretty much lined up right with the, the bottom margin, but it hasn't broken onto the next page. So unfortunately, it's a little bit tedious, but that's really the only way to keep your table from breaking apart onto multiple pages, is to just keep an eye on your margins and make sure you don't go over them. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you have any other questions, you can contact me at josiah at jraystudios.com. I'm Josiah Ray.